Hi guys, so I finished another book. This is The Book of Tomorrow, and I was actually really excited to read this book, and I think partly it's because it's so pretty looking, but also the back of it, the little description on the back, really got me intrigued for this story. I really wanted to read it. So basically, the back of the book says that it's about this girl who goes to live with her really weird aunt and uncle in the middle of nowhere because her father dies, and she's really lonely and bored, and she doesn't have any friends, and she ends up finding this big old book with like a big padlock on it, and it has her own handwriting for dates starting the, the next day. So it's basically like a book of the future where she writes about how her day goes, but she gets to read it a day before. So what she ends up doing is she ends up kind of meddling in the future. So she goes through and she reads like what she regrets or what she wants to change from the next day. And then the next day she actually like changes it. But in doing so, she ends up changing her entire like course of her life and the way her life is going and so it's kind of one of those stories it's like be careful what you wish for be careful what you change you don't really want to change your future because you don't know what like tiny little change might lead to a bigger change that might lead to a life-changing change so it's kind of a weird story and actually if the story was just what the back of the book said I think that it would have been a completely different story than what it ended up being the story ends up being more like a mystery she has this really weird aunt and there's this whole storyline about like her aunt and her mother and her mother's like in this weird like zombie kind of like she sleeps all the time and she's in this weird depression and her aunt's like controlling her and like the girl doesn't know what's going on with her mother and her aunt and you don't find out till the very end of the book. So there's like this whole nother dimension of just weirdness that's going on with this story. This book was written for the younger reader. I would say young teenager is probably the kind of demo that they were going for. So it was a little bit young for me. I think that, you know, I have readers on here all the time that are like, I'm 10, I'm 12, and I want good book suggestions. This is good for if you're younger. I still enjoyed it, but I definitely think that it was more of like a young teen kind of style book. The first like five chapters were really hard for me to get through. It had a really slow beginning. I didn't get into it right away. I was kind of considering stopping reading it because I was just like this book is nothing like it says on the back I she had not found the diary yet I was like what's going on this is this is kind of a boring story but then once I got into it it started moving quicker and I ended up towards like the last third of the book really being into it and like really wanting to know what happens next and then I stayed up all night and I finished like the rest of the book one night even though I needed to get up early the next day because I really just wanted to know what was going to happen in the story so it sucked me in even though at the beginning I didn't think it was going to so I do recommend it but like I said it's probably better for like a younger reader but I thought it was an interesting story and it's a really pretty book so um, not that that should, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I should have learned that from this one. I was thinking that the first five chapters, I was like, never again will I pick a book just from a pretty cover. But it ended up being a fun story. So if you're interested in that kind of like mystery slash don't change the future kind of story, then check it out. So that was my little two cents on this book. And um, video response to your literatures and your book reviews below. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.